welcome to another video. Today I am in Chicago, Illinois. I will be exploring the Bloomingdale Trail, also known as the 606. This is a former elevated freight railway that runs through Chicago's West End neighborhoods. It's a mixed use trail that, you know, cyclists and pedestrians can use to travel. Kind of is like New York City's High Line. If you guys remember, I filmed a video there a couple years ago. If any of you guys are familiar with New York City's High Line, it is very similar, you know, converting a former railroad into a trail that local pedestrians can use. And, you know, I've been trying to make my way here for the past couple of years. It is a really cool piece of local infrastructure here in Chicago, and I am excited to check it out and show you guys what it's all about. So come along with me and explore. I'm beginning my walk at the Eastern Trailhead. I found some street parking and I just parked my car. Doesn't seem like there was any specialized parking facilities, so hopefully um, my car doesn't get towed, but I'll find out in a couple hours. What's really cool is that they have these uh, little free library books where you, uh, you wanna take a book, you could leave a book. I love seeing these in local neighborhoods all around. They have a map here. This is, uh, this is where I'm at right now. I basically just started right here and I'm gonna walk all the way down. Running through the Logan Square, Humboldt Park, and West Town neighborhoods, the Bloomingdale Trail has a total length of 2.7 miles, running east to west on the northwest side of Chicago. As you can see, the trail runs right through some neighborhoods. You can see some alleyways here, just people lounging around on their rooftops. Overall, pretty nice so far. Took a quick detour just to show you guys what the local off ramps look like to get back down to street level. There's no steps or nothing like that, like there wasn't a high line. Very smooth, very simple. What's really cool is there's a lot of art installations, as you can see right over there. There's uh, plenty of parks on all sides. There's a dog park right over here. So it's a, it's a very nice interactive trail. Unfortunately for those of you that are on electric scooters, they are not allowed here on the trail, but bikes are welcome. So here we go. Here's a mile marker. Only walked 0.5 of a mile so far, but uh, a little bit of ways to go. Cool little bridge here, probably remnants of the uh, old railroad line. Found another art installation over here, as I mentioned. You're gonna probably see a lot of public art like that here on the 606. Another really cool part I like is that at every bridge crossing, there is a label of the street that you are going over. We're crossing Western Avenue right now. The neighborhood the 606 trail runs through features an eclectic mix of both modern and historic architecture with a healthy sprinkling of public art, like this creative exhibition featuring the many different kinds of bird's eyes found in nature. Apparently those eyes are supposed to represent about like 50 species of birds that are threatened or near extinction due to climate change. So very thoughtful, you know, I really, uh, really enjoy public art that kind of makes you think and also gives you an opportunity to learn a little bit about what, uh, what you see around you, you know? I'm gonna chill here for a little bit. I am wishing I brought a snack or something, but uh, you know, I brought my film camera and I haven't really taken any shots, so I'm probably gonna do that right now. Well, I just made it to the end of the trail. I'm at the Western Trailhead right now. There's a roundabout here, so it's super convenient to head back if you're on your bike. Uh, what's cool is there's actually the remnants of the railroad tracks that you can see right beyond the roundabout. 
I don't really know what the city's plans are for expanding this trail any further because uh, it seems kind of like an industrial neighborhood. But honestly, the more they continue investing, not just in the 606, but in other trail infrastructures all around the area, the better it will be, not just for the residents that live here, but also for the businesses that thrive here and the people that come here like myself. You know, it really increases the value of property and also makes it, makes it better and safer for everybody. out of film gotta re -roll, re reload my roll all set okay so I think I found a food spot that's got an outdoor patio uh, I'm just gonna walk a couple minutes down from the trail I'll be in the Wicker Park neighborhood you know everything here is so interconnected there's so many little tiny neighborhoods here and there that's why I really enjoy Chicago Came out super quick. I already got my three tacos, got my michelada. Very good. I got three different kinds of tacos, beef, fish, pork. It's amazing. Got the right amount of spice, right amount of flavor, grilled pineapples on here, beans. Really good, really good. After enjoying a delicious meal, I headed back a few blocks north towards the 606 to complete my exploration. All in all, I had a great time, and I would highly suggest paying this place a visit. And just like that, my tour of the 606 here in Chicago, ooh, it's a little windy, is done. If you are in the area, I highly, highly recommend checking it out. I know I'll be back here again, but I am bringing my bike because this was a very long walk. I'm gonna end the video right here. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more adventures wherever I am. And I'll see you guys in the next video.